promotional consideration paid for by the following. Hello and welcome to another Quick Shot Review. As ever, I am your host Luke and you are the Cheap Shot Nation. Still not managed to get to the cinema to watch any newer films, but that's because there's not been much on that I've actually wanted to go and see. And other things have happened over the last month that have sort of kept me away from the cinema. Um, But I do look forward to getting back to the cinema towards the end of November and beginning of December when films start picking up again at the cinema. However, today's film is one that was heavily advertised in the cinema. I remember seeing adverts for it in the cinema, but I never saw it released in the cinema. And it seems to be a thing with Jared Butler films, because there was the one, um, what was it called, Nebraska or something like that, Uh, the disaster film, that was heavily advertised in the cinema, And it never got released in the cinema. However, it is on streaming services. And while that film I didn't enjoy, check out the review. Plane, which is today's film, is actually a bit of a taste of the old school action. That's done really well. Like Expendables was fun because it had all the names in it. This one actually plays out like a proper action film. It's a bit like a Rambo. In the fact that it is like an unassuming uh, ex uh, army uh, armed forces etc person who is now holding out holding down a normal job. I think he was in the air force, um, but he was Scottish and he's like, oh yeah, I flew in the Royal Air Force, but it was always the English guys that got all the good stuff. So he decided that he wanted to go and do commercial flights which he did and uh, just so happens that he starts flying a plane back to where he's going to meet his his daughter uh, where he's uh, because his wife had died uh, a couple of years earlier and he didn't get much time to spend with her being a pilot and she's also at college so it has a good wholesome family feel to it it has a very much a commando feel to it there's something to fight for there's something to flight for however it turns out that the um flight is flying straight into a storm now jared butler's character brody torrance does say can we fly around it i've got somewhere to be i want to go and meet my daughter and the flight commander says no you're flying straight through it by the time you you get past it it will you know, by the time you get there it'll all you've gone it it isn't and they end up crash landing on um a a hostile an environment in a hostile environment in a hostile island hostile part of um a country where even the government doesn't go into the territory of these gangsters um that have taken over uh, this sort of area that sort of it's almost like a terror group i suppose um you know they kidnap tourists uh, anyone they can find internationally and uh, ransom them off to their countries to get money in etc cetera, etc cetera. but they've never met a man like brody torrance so the official blurb is the pilot finds himself caught in a war zone after he's forced to land a commercial aircraft during a terrible storm. So like I say, you do get that little element of, oh my goodness, you're going to have to survive on this desert island with not much there. No one's going to come and find you because you've got no radio, etc. So J. 
Jared Butler's character then decides he obviously he's the captain, he's responsible, he's going to go and find help. That obviously brings the attention of the the bad guys in this one. Um, incidentally, this film is directed by Jean Francois Richet, and uh, I actually really enjoyed it. This is exactly what I was. Well, it's actually not what I was expecting from this film. I was expecting it to be like a a crash, a survival film, uh, people turning on each other, etc., etc. And it doesn't come out like that. Jared Butler's the big name in this, but there's so many good performances, so many standouts, that it makes it a really entertaining film. And I was hooked from start to finish. Bear in mind, when I watch films at home, you know, you've got other distractions that can get in the way. Did not get in the way of this film at all. Uh, not one bit. And uh, I just really enjoyed it. And it, it it delivered on everything for me. Um, because of it being a, a low-budget film or a lower-budget film, um, there is... A little bit of CG in here, and it's not convincing, but it it makes up for it with the explosions, with the atmosphere, with the tension that's built, and uh, you know it, it all the tropes of like I say the the late eighties, early nineties action films, and it knows exactly how to execute every single trope that you can find from one of those movies. Um, to perfection and it is exactly what i wanted from this film like i said i wasn't expecting it but once i sort of got the idea of what the plot would be it's exactly what i wanted exactly um and it becomes a a, a race against time basically to save the passengers of the jet some are taken unceremoniously in horrible situations which you don't see others um, are, you know, obviously wanting to get off the island and, and are desperate with, by any means necessary sort of thing. There's a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat. There's a lot of gun play here as well. And it's balanced really, really well. Incidentally, Jared Butler's co-stars, Mike Coulter, um, playing Louis Caspar, is the sort of black sheep of the group. He is a criminal who has been tried for murder um, and the, um, the, the circumstances surrounding him are unknown. So they try and keep him away. But Captain Torrance does see something in him, takes him with him on the, the journey to go and find the help. And it does end up being a massive asset to the group. Uh, Tony Goldwyn plays Scarsdale. Yvonne Anne plays Samuel Dele. Um, standout performance here by Evan Dane Taylor as well as Datu Jumma, who is the um, leader of the um, the, ter the terror group sort of thing. Uh, Paul Ben Victor plays Terry um, and so on and so forth. Like I say, not many big names at all in this film however it does work really really well and i absolutely loved it like i say it is on streaming services it is free it's advert free it's not on freebie uh either so it's for me it's well worth a look um because <coughs> it's done, excuse me, it's done really, really well. Um, and, um, you know, it's filmed in Puerto Rico to give it that authentic look. And um, it's, yeah, it deserved a... I've seen worse being released into the cinema. It definitely deserved a cinema release. I feel like on the big screen, this would have been one of those ones where you... You're sort of sitting on your hands, you're tensing everything. And it's just one of those really, really captivating action films. So 
I would definitely, definitely recommend watching this one if you haven't already. If you have, then let me know what you thought of it because I absolutely loved it. I thought it was great. I honestly did thought it was brilliant. So, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are because I'd be really interested to know. And on that note, I have one more film that I've watched recently that's an old school film. I just fancied watching it. Um, and uh, just as something to watch, it was there. I really fancied it. And uh, it's another one of those controversial films that some people absolutely love. Some people found it boring. Some people found it silly. And uh, yeah, it splits opinion. But I still really like it. I think it does the job. And it's a sign of the changing of the guard, so to speak, in terms of cinema. So I'll see you next time, film fans. Make sure you keep watching those films. Make sure you keep going to the cinema. And I'm saying that even though I haven't been for like a month. Uh, like I say, it's been a tough month. So I'm hoping to get back into some sort of rhythm uh, within the next month to uh, get these reviews online for you. And I hope you're still enjoying them. Please let me know if you are. Or if you're not, if you've got some suggestions, let me know. And I will see you next time, Phil fans. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.